The Tuku Nature Reserve on the Chatham Islands is home to the world's rarest seabird, the taiko or magenta petrel. These birds are constantly under threat from introduced predators such as cats and rats. Let's meet the people who look after them and find out more. All right, Dan, what have we got down here? Well, Nick, this is a uh, entrance to a taiko burrow. Uh, usually, before I leave a burrow, I just have a few nice sticks poked up an entrance like that. And the adult comes along and uh, either just pushes them aside or pulls them out. And, right, yeah. and uh, that's just a very basic way of uh, determining that, the, that, that an adult's been in here. And this is basically an aerial and a data logger unit. And most of the birds, we have a little pit tag. It's like a, a barcode, I guess, that you have on your grocery items in the supermarket. Right, yeah. Um, and every time the bird comes through here, it, it, regist it registered the type of bird and the time and, and the date that it goes through. So it's mm. another way of, in of uh, letting us know when, a, when an adult bird's been in here. So there's houses in here? Yes, it is. How does that work? Well, underneath all this pile of fern, we've got a artificial wooden box that creates a nice warm environment for the chick. It also enables us to monitor the chicks easily and to uh, get them out to ban them and process them before uh, they fledge out to sea. Pretty feisty and... Oh, he's a big boy. Fluffy looking fellow. He's probably about six weeks old, I think. Pop him in there. Oh, it's very close to 600 grams. He'll keep growing and probably uh, his weight will probably build up to maybe eight or 900 grams. And then uh, the parents will slowly stop feeding it altogether. And it has to drop back down to about 500 grams before it can actually fly. So, right. <laughs> otherwise he's <laughs> yeah. too fat. Yeah, that's correct. Where will this chick go from here? Well, this uh, little guy or girl will be moved to Sweetwater in the hope that we can start a new colony inside a predator-free enclosure. Right. So the idea is that we take them at, at, as a very young chick before it's had a chance to come out of its burrow and sort of uh, get, get associated with the site um, and move it to another burrow um, in the Sweetwater Covenant and uh, hopefully when it returns to the Chathams to breed that it comes back to the Sweetwater site. Yeah. All right, Dan, we're here at Sweetwater. What's it all about for the Tyco here? Uh, this is a sound system, I guess we call it, and basically it works uh, at night. Um, the speaker system turns on and it plays Tyco calls and with the idea that it, uh, it's going to attract any Tyco that might be flying over top up into the tuku, uh, it might track them down into here and uh, encourage them to have a look around and maybe set up home here. I'll flick her on. And is it doing the trick? I believe we've had a few birds poking around and having a look in a few burrows, so yeah, it's so far it's promising. There's quite a few traps in this area. What do you do to keep those rats at bay? Uh, well, first off, uh, around each colony area, we have a bait station grid uh, that we use to poison the rats and, and keep the population down. And then around each individual burrow, we have a network of rat snap traps uh, as a last line of defence. The combination of artificial burrows, speaker systems and predator control has significantly increased the Taikal population. This has only been achieved by the absolute dedication of the Chatham Islands locals who are determined to give these birds a fighting chance.